So now let's do an animation using physics where we fill up a bowl with cereal. So in order to do that, first of all, we need a bowl. So I'm going to go over here onto the side, uh, just like that. And then I'm going to make a bowl. I'm going to use the spline pen tool right here. So I'm just going to click over here. So I'm just going to click and then make a ball like shape just like this. So I'm going to go over here and there you go. That's the ball like shape right over here. And I'm just going to enclose it now and click and drag it. And over here, just click and drag it right over here and click it. And there you go. There's the ball like shape right over here. So now I'm going to rotate this around. So I'm going to uh, la use the lat tool to revolve this around. So I'm going to go over here on to uh, my lat tool. So I'm going to go over here and there you go. That's my lat. I'm going to bring in the spline over here so it looks like a ball. So I'm going to work around with the shapes. Let me see if there are any holes inside. There are no holes. So all of it is fine. So let me just bring this in a bit. Let me just use the spline tool and uh, work around with the spline. So not the lat. So I'm going to work around with the spline and I'm going to check if there's something right there. So everything is fine as you can see. So now I'm going to convert this into an object. So I'm going to convert the object um, onto a state. So current object to so state just like this and delete this out. So this is a polygonal tool, polygonal shape just like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this into um, into a um, into a collider body because this is where I'm going to collect my cereal and I'm going to in uh, add in an environment uh, around here as well and going to add in a floor there as well. So I'm going to add in some materials over here. So I'm going to add in material just like this and then from in the material. So let's just click here. I'm going to add in a bit of reflection. So I'm going to add in a bit of reflection like a Beckman and decrease the amount of reflection right over here. Maybe to the color for the floor as well. So it looks uh, really amazing. So just like a wood maybe. And then over here, I'm going to color the ball as well. So let me give it a bit of a yellowish like look. I want to have the same effect as over here. So I'm just going to double, um, duplicate it. And for this mat, I'm going to choose yellow color just like this. So it looks like a ball right over there. And once that is done, uh, that's it. So I got my ball. If I were to render this out, you can see that it looks like a ball. And there you go. You got the shininess, you got the reflectance and everything else, which can hold the cereal onto place. So to generate a lot of cereals, I'm going to need, I'm, uh, I will need some emitters. So I'm going to go over here on the simulate on particle. I'm going to bring up emitters just like this. So here are emitters. So let's say one emitter is going to be here and the other is going to be on the other side. So let me just change the range of the animation right here onto something like thousand frames right over here. So thousand frames. I'm going to increase this in size. So in the emitter, I'm going to increase this into around thousand frames right over here. And there you go. So now the emission will be from zero frames to thousand frames. So if I were to play this around, you can see the emission happening. So I need a few more emitters for different shapes of the serial. So I'm going to uh, duplicate that out right there and rotate this around from the other side. So rotate this around over here and uh, do a minus 90 degree turn. So minus 90 degree right over there and press the play button. Let's see right over here. So from the beginning itself, uh, it is on the other side. So I need to just rotate this around. So I'm going to go over here into the axis of the emitter right over here on the emitter axis and it's minus 90 right over here. Not minus 20, but minus 180 degrees itself. Press a play button right over here. So go back. Okay, still not right over here. So minus 180 right over there. Press the play button. And there you go. That's the emitter on the other direction now. So minus 180 and there you go. So both of the emitters are faced uh, from left and right side. I can add in as many emitters I want. So I'm just going to go over here and make a third copy out here as well. So let's say I have three emitters. I'm going to rotate this around over here on this side as well. So I got three emitters just like that. So from the beginning, I got three emitters over here. So now let us work around with the serial shapes. So I'm going to bring in something like a torus and uh, decrease this in size. So this is one of the serial shapes that we're going to work with. So I'm just going to decrease this in size. Let's decrease this in size just like that and bring this above. So let's just bring this above. 
just like that and decrease this in size there you go so i don't want this to be shiny i want it to be colorful though so i'm gonna go over here on to the material just like this and then i'm just going to uh make it something like red all right so this is one of the serial colors that we're going to use right over here on the torus so the other shape that we may want to use are not capsules it actually looks like a medicine if i use that so uh let's say i'm going to work around uh with uh, something like a spear for my other shape right here so you can bring in any shape as you want but i'm just using the basic shapes uh, in sake of this tutorial so right there you got the other shape right over here you can work around with the size i'm going to add in a material so copy and paste this drag it onto the spear right over here and change the color of the material to make it more orangey like all right so there you go so i want to have one more serial uh, shape right here so let's say i want to go for something uh like a pyramid all right and you know, that does not actually look like a serial shape so i'm going to go over here and select something up uh like an oil tank right here so let me just decrease that in size and then bring this up as well so i got my third shape right over here something like a marshmallow so i'm just going to uh, make it a marshmallow color right here so it is white so now once that's done i'm going to drag them up onto each of the emitters right there and in emitter i'm going to enable the object so i'm going to go on to the emitter uh, right there just like this so onto the emitter i'm going to enable the show object right here so you actually see the objects so go on to the emitter and uh, just show the object right here. So, so objects right over there as well. And emitter, so objects. There you go. There are three emit emissions happening. So now all of them are going to be rigid bodies. So I'm going to turn this into a rigid body. So I'm going to go over here on to the simulation tag on rigid body right here. And go to uh, simulation tag rigid body for this one as well. And wizard body for this one as well so simulation tag wizard body so now if i were to simulate it out it'll happen just like this and you can see that the cereal ball is being feel filled with cereals as you can see just like that and that's how you work around with the cereal ball animation just like that so play around and the ball gets filled out with more and more particles just like this so i want to actually uh let it come from a bigger height so i'm just going to select all of the three emitters and maybe increase in size so it is more random as well so play this out you can see that that is how everything actually collects out just like this and that is how cereals are getting collected as you can see in the cereal ball so now uh, what i want to do is i want to animate this out as well so let's see how the results look like so in order for a fast animation i'm just going to choose lower resolution right here so something uh like this and over here, I'm going to select a preset, a screen size, a really low screen size right here. Something like uh, 320 by 240. So it's rendered, uh, renders out fast, just like this. And then I'm, I'm going to render around, let's say, uh, let's say around 300 frames right here. So from zero frames, from zero frames to around 300 frames. And let me just render this out from the beginning and let's see how that looks like. So if I were to press the play button right here, and press yes it'll render out each and every frame right there now i'm just going to fast forward this so so that it renders out everything and now you can see here that it's rendered and if i were to play the animation let me just zoom in a bit over here so if i were to play the animation from the beginning you see that all of the uh, serials are actually being generated and it's being collected right here and it really looks really wonderful as you can see just like that so you go over here and some of the um, um, uh, serials, as you can see, is flying below right over here out of uh, there because it is the, the floor is not being set up as a rigid body. So that's an error right here. But anyways, you get the idea on how to work with the serial generation effect inside of Cinema 4D. So if you guys learn something, as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.